Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gladwell Kozak. Uh, please do feel welcome. Uh, on today's video, I will just dive in. I am going to be doing another uh, dishwasher deep clean. I did one two months ago and I was doing a trial run with the Finnish uh, dishwasher, uh, dishwasher deep cleaner. I loved it and it's what I will be using going forward. Uh, the one that I bought last last time was a blue one. This one has a le lemon effect sparkle and is yellow. So I'll be showing you and I'll be showing you how to actually prepare your dishwasher before you do the deep clean because at the end of the day you need to remove the filters you need to remove the arms and hand wash them in your sink before you can actually run the uh, dishwasher deep clean uh, that way you are removing the extra debris and especially with the filter you need to actually clean it as often as you should because that is uh, recommended otherwise uh, you may you may end up with a machine which is malfunctioning I've had my machine for the last um, seven months it's been doing a good job and especially because as a family uh, even though we are a family of four we do not um, I mean we go to work so much of the di dishes build up is for throughout the day i only run my dishwasher once a day in the evening one thing i to save energy and also to not have the hassle of having to repeat the same process over and over again and at the end of the day you also need especially these days when the energy bills are becoming so high it's important to be economical when it comes to uh, running your dishwasher not running half loads but just uh, make sure you're running uh, full load so spread it make sure you set a time during the day or in the evening like for ourselves as a family and uh, run your dishwasher in a way that it is economical and then you are saving a little bit of quid and as far as I understand when you run a dishwasher in the evening this the the amount of energy that you use in the evening is less than the amount that you use uh when during the day the tariff is a little bit different uh the other thing about uh the dishwasher uh mine is bosch uh series two uh i bought it up for about 425 pounds in amazon and um if you're looking for something out there uh, it is not when it comes to energy saving you are looking for the uh, letters if you're looking for one which is going to save the big amount of energy you have to spend a little bit more but even though you may have uh, one which saves energy it is also important to not either run too many uh, washes unnecessarily and also not to run um, uh, uh, what can I say uh, a half load that is not recommended so it's just better to build up uh, your dishes throughout the day and then run them run the washer when you are ready to run it uh, we are in a crisis especially here in the UK when it comes to drought so even running economic the echo um, cycles or shorter cycles i think is highly recommended anyway i have said my bits i think i need to show you how i do my deep clean so let's get going so guys this is my dishwasher it is a bosch as i said series two um i will walk you through that uh another day because at the moment i am just showing you how to do the deep clean and this is the finish uh, dishwasher uh, deep clean uh, on this side it says that uh, finish dishwasher uh, deep clean uh, wash after wash uh, limestone and dirt can build up in the hidden parts of your dishwasher uh, 
like pipes, spray arms and filter. This can lead to unhygienic conditions and bad odor. Thanks to the powerful dual layer formula, finish a uh, dishwasher deep uh, cleaner removes hidden dirt and lime scale for a hygienic uh, dishwasher. Uh, two, two times more uh, lime scale removal versus using finish all-in-one max tablets detergent only. So this one is recommended to be done. Um, my uh, manufacturer recommends you do the deep clean every two months. Uh, the finish uh, says that you do every three months. I will keep to my manufacturer's instructions and I will be deep cleaning my uh, dishwasher every two months. This pack I bought is a double uh, twin pack, uh, is as it says, super value. I bought it from my local supermarket and I paid $3.99. So basically it's almost, it cost me two pounds each and I think it is a good deal and it was a steal. So this is my dishwasher. Uh, before I go ahead, I want just to show you the layout. We have the upper uh, uh, shelf, which is where you put all your cutlery and those extra little uh, things that you need to put in. We have the upper, um, the middle shelf, which is adjustable. Uh, if you're having especially uh, things which are a little bit higher, you can just make it a little bit, uh, you can adjust it and uh, lower it. Uh, mine is a little bit up because uh, most of the time uh, I usually have, I do not have dishes which are quite uh, tall. Uh, and the last one is this one which is actually removable. So uh, this is one which you can remove uh, and on this one when you are also low, uh, lowering or pulling it up because this one, it has um, a space inside where there is a plaque where in case you're having uh, things like uh, the baking trays and all that kind of stuff and you want to put them in, you can be able to do that. And there's extra, uh, there's an extra sprayer other than the arms where you can plug it in and it will be spraying uh, more and uh, supplying the water uh, everywhere. As you can see, my uh, dishwasher uh, has been busy it is quite dirty and uh, yeah this removable uh, tray on here is where you have the filter and I will be unplugging it you can see this is quite dirty a filter the filter is quite dirty there's some spinach layer uh, left in there so I need to actually do a good uh, clean and you can see all the filth that is trapped in the filter. That's why it's important to keep uh, a good wash every other uh, They recommend every few washes uh, Clean your filter and I will also be removing the arms. We have two so one And the top one here I will unplug it and remove it. So this one uh, has a lock mechanism, so I will unplug and I will remove, and there we go. So you have both you, your arms, you have your filter, which is detachable as well. So this part is the most dirty part because this is where all every dirt and all the oils and everything gets trapped. So you need to really give a good wash before you actually do the deep clean because it is uh important that you actually clean the filter before you allow the deep uh washer cleaner to do the rest of the job because it needs to get through the other bits as well so guys i have run my water this is the filter i need to wash it as well as um all the debris that are trapped in here to make sure that it's all nice and clean and uh, yeah there is quite a bit this is my daughter she actually uh, made some um, macaroni cheese last night and it seems she didn't actually empty her plate properly because 
it's not only that but there is just literally some food leftovers anyway uh, use a small brush soft brush to clean your filter make sure that your brush is really soft because you do not want to damage this pipe which is attached to the top filter because you want to make sure that the spare parts in your dishwashers are working and in good working order for a long time. It's made from very, very soft material. That's why it is important to wash it uh, with a gentle brush. This brush is really soft, so it's really good. The rest of the filter, I'll just give it a brush as well. Just softly with a sponge. Make sure it's all nice and clean. Nothing, no debris are left in there. And then we go to the arms. So with the arms, just make sure that you clean them and then run uh, the tap water to make sure that all the arms are supplying. So like here, I can see you're having three and here you're having four. So you need to make sure that they are all supplying water as they should. And they are. And the other part as well. Yeah, so these are very important components of the dishwasher, the arms and the filter. So they also need to be given that extra care so that your machine is well maintained and it gives you good service for years to come. So these ones are ready now to go into the dishwasher and then we will just put the put in uh, the finish deep cleaner and then we can start straight away to run the machine. So we are putting the filter back. We put the filter back, we put the arm back, the lower one at the bottom. And here is where we put the salt uh, to help the machine to, uh, the water to be softened because we live in a hard area. Uh, so we usually add in salt. I don't need to add because there is already salt that has been uh, for a couple of months and when it's almost over, the machine will show, uh, it will light up to show you uh, it's time to add uh, more uh, salt. And I will also be wiping down uh, the sides where the machine is not going to be able to be uh, mechanically washed as well. I will put this one. Just click it in and then I check. It's already rotating properly. And now I will just take a rug. So these parts are the parts that you actually need to manually wash because the machine washing doesn't reach these parts. So you need to clean these bits. Uh, this seal needs to be cleared of any debris. 
and is important that it stays uh, nice and intact and also the size of the machine and then yeah we'll, we'll be ready and then we can just start the machine in a moment so I will be taking this uh, at the bottom uh, I will be opening this seal with a seal uh, it was hot the last time but I will get there yeah so it's all nice and done you don't need to do anything this silicone there you just put it in and as soon as the machine runs and the heat and all that kind of stuff it's automatically just open you will place it between this on the machine anywhere on the machine and then but it needs to be at the bottom uh shelving and then there you go and then we can automatically now start the machine um I will be using the machine care because on my uh, program I have the machine care and that's exactly the program that I choose rather than the one that is recommended. Uh, I will follow rather the manufacturer's recommendation of machine care and I will start running the machine straight away. So I will press and that takes two hours and ten minutes and uh, we'll just check the results and I start uh, so guys the washing is all nice and done it is still very warm inside and as you can see this is what is left over from the washing and inside uh, I don't know if you can see with the camera how clean and sparkly is inside um, I need to show you so you have you can see it is so clean inside uh, let's have a look So we chop up here. It's all nice and clean. So if you're like me guys, you are looking for a good product for your deep clean once every few months, I would highly recommend uh the finish uh deep clean uh uh deep cleaner which is as i said it is not much uh it's not expensive i bought two for uh four pounds uh there was a pack of two so it's something that you can try and uh yeah maybe you will see how it works with your um dishwashers and please don't forget to uh leave a comment if you've tried it out tell me what you think uh how it's working with your uh, dishwashers and the important thing is also to know after you've already done uh, the deep clean when you do the next uh, cycle for your dishes you will see the difference so guys uh, I am going to leave you there and uh, please do remember you can subscribe you can uh, leave a comment a like and uh, yeah let's keep this journey going and uh, I will be posting uh, another one uh, video um soon so keep a look for uh a new upload so uh i will say thank you very much for stopping by and i hope to see you in the next one bye